Hello, my lovely friends, and welcome to the seventh episode of my Swedish Advent calendar. Today, we're going to talk about a tradition in Sweden, the straw goat, or the straw yule goat. So, this little guy, this yule straw goat, has been a Christmas symbol for a long time, both in Scandinavia and in Northern Europe. And the tales of the goat, uh, there are many and disputable, and without going into too much of what it represents and where it originates from, one thing is clear, it's been around for a long time. So, back in the days, young people, they walked around visiting the houses in their village, performing simpler plays and singing these uh, Christmas or Yule goat songs, basically. And there were always this one person dressed as uh, a yule goat, basically. And as a thanks, they got gifts in the form of food and beverage for the up and coming feast that was held uh, the days after Christmas, something we called Melandagana. So, in the middle of 1800, this, um, this tradition changed gradually, and instead of uh, receiving gifts, uh, the uh, goat. Um, gave gifts to the people in their homes and that was preceding today's Santa Claus. So back then another popular Christmas tradition was to place one of these guys in straw or wood in the neighbor's home without them noticing. Then people receiving the straw or wood goat had to, without them being noticing, you know, place this goat back into the neighbor's house. You know, the point with that, for me, is unknown, but you know, without iPads, iPhones and all of that, I guess they had to make their own fun. So today, the you goat is simply represented by one of these guys, usually placed somewhere in the house or traditionally just beside the Christmas tree. But guys, we have one stupid tradition that keeps repeating itself year after year. Oh man, oh man. Okay, so this one, it is so stupid. I don't even know where to begin. So, the Jävle straw yule goat. So every year, uh, since I think 1966, this Swedish city called Jävle makes a large straw goat for Christmas. It's about 10 to 13 meters high and it weighs like 3-4 tons. And in about 50 or 51, a year since this tradition been around, it only managed to not get burned down like 12 or 13 times or something like that. They have tried to put up a fence around it with a guard, then a fence with two guard, you know, treat it with fire retardant impregnation, but nothing has been working. So during the years, it's mostly stupid Swedes with too much to do, I think, that has sort of managed to burn this one down. Uh, but once it got destroyed by being hit by a car and actually even burned down once by a tourist visiting Sweden. Thank you. So there you have it, the tradition of burning the yule straw goat in Jävle. So for me, this little guy really represents the, you know, sort of traditions that we have in Sweden. Uh, also, I am half Finnish, and in Finland, we instead of Santa Claus have Jolopoki, which is the Christmas goat, uh, and he also uh, hands out Christmas gifts. So, I really, really like this part of the tradition. So, guys, that was my seventh episode for my Swedish Advent calendar. And I'm gonna go and take my goat and place him somewhere around the house with, with no burning of anything. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't. And until I see you next time, goodbye!